Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to work on my Moleskine uh, notebook for another art journal. And uh, I'm going to use my pen pastels. Uh, I've done this technique uh, lots of times, I think. So I love it, I will do it again. I have this uh, stamp, background stamp from my favorite things. I really love it, it's very delicate waves. And it's very versatile, so I used it uh, several times. I'm using my Versamark ink uh, to cover it and uh, uh, use it on my page, stamp it on my page uh, without any color. I'm not going to do embossing. Uh, this uh, technique allows you uh, to have different colors with one color uh, when you're using uh, pen pastels. They pick up the color uh, because of the Versamark uh, more pigmented and you will see uh, it's, uh, it will be darker. I stamp the image. These are my sponges that I use uh, to apply pen pastel and that's how I store it, quite easy. And you don't have to have uh, millions of them. You can use a, a dry paper napkin uh, to get rid of the color. It's very easy. I selected a, a dark shade of yellow to start with to give some uh, light and I'm going to switch to a sienna and darker colors later. Uh, you will see the colors I'm using uh, on the screen while I'm using them. I love pen pastels. Uh, they create backgrounds without any uh, mess uh, created. It's very easy. They blend uh, quite well. I don't know why I'm not using them more, but <laughs> probably I should think about them more uh, when I'm art journaling. I love acrylics. That's why uh, it's the first thing that I reach out for. Uh, but uh, these are quite nice too. As you see, now I have a very nice uh, background just because I stamped uh, that stamp with Versamark. Uh, it it uh, appeared uh, by itself very easily. going to use another color, red iron oxide. a bit of darkness uh, just to give more definition uh, as a frame on the edges. pastel will move with other medium so I'm going to uh, seal them with matte medium I'm using a dry brush very important and you can also use uh, fixative spray easily I'm indoors uh, so I'm going to do it with matte medium and uh, today I'm going to use this uh, stencil for the first time it's by Prima and it's a 12 by 12 I generally don't buy 12 by 12 it's so big but uh, I really like this girl and I thought that I could cover all the page. However, I'm going to use it quite differently. Uh, I was looking through them and uh, I thought her hair uh, could be used like wave. So that's what I'm going to do. They will be uh, the hair will be wave sea waves uh, today. I'm going to create a sea themed uh, journal. 
I'm using this uh, Nuvo, Nuvo embellishment uh, mousse in a turquoise color uh, as a paste. It's a bit hard but uh, I uh, made my effort and I'm just uh, uh, being a little bit tough but uh, it's perfectly fine. Uh, you will see in the end it worked out uh, quite well. It's very shiny so it will look beautiful on this uh, background color. It will be a very nice contrast. <music> I love the moment uh, that I lift it and everything looks fine. I'm going to use this scrapbook paper from Graphic 45. Uh, it has a sea uh, theme in general. I have a few papers of it. And uh, I'm going to use this uh, octopus woman. I'm going to fussy cut her. And uh, you, you see it's very delicate uh, between these uh, uh, legs uh, and uh, I'm using my craft knife uh, to get rid of all these uh, inner uh, parts and to get rid of the white edges I'm using my black uh, brush pan from Power Castell and I'm going to stick it on my page with a uh, matte medium because I sealed the page uh, I'm not afraid of smudging anything uh, the background color uh, will not be spoiled and I'm going to go over this woman with matte medium uh, as well to be able to do some shading around her. I am cutting the excess. You know I love doing off the page uh, images uh, because they look more natural. And now more or less I uh, know the design of the page and I placed my woman. I wanted to have uh, waves on this side of the page as well. Uh, so I am doing the same process with a part of my stencil with uh, this uh, girl's hair. I hope this gives you ideas about using your uh, tools differently as well. Sometimes uh, we, we can use them uh, for things that are not meant to be uh, originally. I'm using my Coput Mortum uh, Faber-Castell brush pen to, to do uh, the shadings around my girl so that it looks like she belongs to the page, not like a cutout. the papers that I had I selected uh, some of them that I could take some more images I'm going to take the sea star from here and the seashells from the other and I'm going to place them on the other corner of the other page so that I have some cohesiveness uh, on my page uh, with the same colors and some elements Coming to the sentiment, uh, I'm reaching out for the sticker set of the same uh, scrapbook paper set uh, and I selected uh, this sentiment, uh, wild waves uh, beneath the sea. I think it's quite appropriate for the design of the page. Being me, I forgot to hit the record button again. I use this beautiful color of uh, stickers uh, inside uh, my uh, wave as well to give some uh, uh, interest uh, on the girl's dress and on the other side of the page. This all adds uh, more interest uh, to the page. And I did some splashes uh, watering down my new embellishment, uh, the blue color, uh, on my page. And uh, I left it there. I think it's. Uh, I love the colors. Uh, the, the combination of blues and browns always fascinate me. So uh, I really like the addition of stickers as well. Uh, the page is uh, shining really nicely. I love the sea concept. Uh, I hope the summer comes soon and we can all go to the sea. 
I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, the supply list will be down below at the description area as usual. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.